Good morning, friends. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. Good morning. She's sitting right there. <laughs> Down, show me. Huh? Well, we're at the band built, and I'm happy to be here. Um, I thought about uh, going around and making a video of all of the things that are going on here, and then I suddenly realized uh, it's growing. Last year there were about 400, and this guy Jamie that organized it, he's doing a really good job. And it's a nice thing that's going on here. There are about a thousand people here, and what occurred to me is 999 of them have a YouTube channel, and they're showing you what's going on here. So, like when people ask me to show them around town in Ajijic down there in Mexico, and I say, well, go look at somebody else's channel, that's what I do. I'm not going to show you around van build. I might give you a couple of shots. I went up on top of my motorhome and uh, took a, a video from the top of it. But, uh, I like van build. There's uh, organized groups here. of uh, They're organized people into teams to work on projects. And a lot of people come here to get their vans worked on, a bed built or cabinets or drawers or whatever they need. I think I'm going to uh, help somebody put some laminate flooring in their uh, trailer instead of carpet today. I heard that uh, there was some mechanical work going on in a van and another guy went and replaced the front uh, jack on a fifth wheel. So a lot of people come to get things done and more importantly a lot of people come to help just to do things. And uh, that's kind of why I'm here. I like getting getting in on some projects. Anyway, this video is just going to be about a few things that happened along the way that caught my attention on the way here to Van Build. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. What are you doing, man? I'm home cutting up apples. Why? Um, Jerry thinks he's going to make an apple strudel. Something yeah. like that. But I don't have any rolled oats. <laughs> I bet you you could borrow them from someone. I bet you, yeah. Not borrow, because you never return. Well, I could return some apple crisp. That's right. But was there any... What else could I use? Uh, cereal. I... Oh. That cereal you don't like. That cereal that I don't like. With the almonds in it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this could be good. You're darn right. <laughs> there are some things in life I do not understand. I'm well educated, but I just don't get this. I'm at a Walmart in Barstow, California, and last night, and I know this happened last night because it wasn't there yesterday, a trucker did this. This garbage. And over here this morning, in front of my car, I'm in my motorhome, there's a shopping cart. And I went out there and looked at this stuff. It's a piece of a car and a filter from their air conditioner, or air filter off their carburetor, and a bag of garbage. How is it okay to stay at Walmart and think that a shopping cart, which is this far from the store, is okay to use as a garbage dump? Makes me angry. Well, there's no blue sky here. It's all of this gray smoke from the fires here in Southern California. And it's starting to bother our throats and our eyes. Look at that smoky air. This is not the way to drive through California. You can't even see the hill over there. And see me? starting to burn my throat, too. Is it bothering you? Yes, my, my eyes. Oh, 
as we're climbing, the sky is getting blue. I like that. I do too. Still smoky there. over the hill over there. As soon as all these crazy cars get out of my way, I'm going to pass this guy. Well, for all you who pointed out that Lynn's not wearing her seatbelt, today, Lynn is wearing her seatbelt. So, I want to thank you all, because maybe it made an impression on her getting comments that she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. Good job, people! As we crossed Route 66, some people from France came and asked if they could see our motorhome. It's video. <laughs> I said, I'm okay. I, 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 I saw me. No, it's a video. It's video. video. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm French. You're French. I'm and your your name? Nous sommes français. Jean Marie. Jean Marie. Et Natasha. And Natasha. C'est ça. Et merci pour votre visite. Uh, I'm very glad to meet you. You are uh, very <laughs> genial. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Well, when 40 feet just isn't quite long enough, there's another solution, apparently. Some of you may recognize this spot from a year ago. This is where I picked up the garlic to make pickled garlic. Uh, maybe it's not actually an RV. I got the cashew cheese, butter, whatever dip made and Lynn's sampling it for the first time and she's smiling. This is looking good. Apparently I am growing vegetables in my motorhome. Those have to be edible, right? Well I'm messing with the zoom on my new video camera and it seems like there's a cave up there in the hill. Is that amazing or what? Well, I'm on top of my motorhome at Van Build. We made it here and it's good to see old friends that live in this lifestyle and making new friends that we hope to see again. Lots of stuff going on here. Solar projects seem to be the thing of the day. They tell me that uh, half of the people have already left. We've gotten here after it's already been going for seven or eight days. So I guess there were a lot more people here earlier. <laughs> I'm talking to my camera. I thought you were talking to me. You're looking at me. Well, it happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a problem. So I got two comments on my last video that uh, it wasn't long enough. So I thought at the end of this video, ooh, look at that. She went by in her pajamas. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd tell you a story that I've been wanting to tell you uh, at the end of this to make it a little longer. This is about my daughter. My daughter is in her 40s, and she was like uh, maybe three and a half when this happened. So it's an old story, 40 years ago. Um, Lynn is at the grocery store, and Becky, the daughter, is sitting in the cart uh, with her legs hanging out the back, like uh, you used to be able to sit a kid in a grocery cart like that. Maybe a kid still can, I don't know. It's been 40 years since I had a kid that would fit in there. Uh, Anyway, Lynn's at the grocery store, and all of the lanes are full of uh, ladies in the mid-afternoon with blue hair. And uh, uh, that, that was back when blue hair meant something other than it does now, and uh, 40 years ago we were 30 instead of 70, and it seemed funnier than it does now. Anyway, all of these elderly ladies are lined up in all of the... Uh, open cash register lanes are full, but there's one that's empty. So 
Lynn backs up and goes over there, and uh, one of the ladies says, you can't go over there, that's for 10 items or less. And the cashier says, no, it's not, it's fine. And the lady uh, who told Lynn she couldn't said, well, how come none of us are over there? And the reason was obvious that uh, they had just all missed it. Anyway, the lady has kind of made a little bit of a fool of herself, and she backs her cart up and comes in behind uh, uh, Lynn's cart, and there's Becky facing her, legs hanging out of the back of the cart. And what do you do when you've made a fool of yourself and you want to, you know, lighten the, lighten the air? Well, you talk to the kid. That's what you do. Now, I have to preface this by telling you that my father, who had false teeth, had been visiting us, and he used to stick his teeth out. I can't do this, I don't have false teeth, but he would stick his teeth out and try to scare little kids, and Becky was real curious about this, plus she saw them in the jar of, of water or Clorox or whatever he used to soak them in on the nightstand, and she was very curious about why these teeth were in the glass of water at night. So she'd had this conversation with um, her, her grandpa. And the lady says to Becky, uh, my, what pretty teeth you have. And Becky, who always looked like she probably wasn't even old enough to talk yet, she weighed like 26 pounds when she went to kindergarten. She was really, really tiny. Anyway, the lady says, My, what pretty teeth you have. And Becky says, Yeah, and I don't have to take them out at night either. <laughs> and, and the whole place erupted into laughter. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.